Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In modern cycling, keeping an eye on data is definitely part of the game. While I'm out there riding, I like to keep an eye on my distance, my pace during the ride, and of course, my relative effort. And over the years, the best way for me to keep an eye on my relative effort has been to wear one of these, the chest strap heart rate monitor. But I absolutely abhor wearing the chest strap heart rate monitor. I don't like the restrictive feeling of having it around my chest. And I even went through a period of time where I completely rebelled against wearing one, where my disdain was so high that I got rid of all of my data acquisition tools altogether, including for a period of time, riding without a bike computer. It was actually my cycling friends who peer pressured me into re-engaging with the technology. But as I started exploring my options because of my advancing age and the need to keep an eye on the old ticker, I found out about these, the armband heart rate monitor. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how easy are these to use and to set up. I'm going to talk about its comfort. Do I even realize it's on there when I'm riding? And of course, we're going to talk about the accuracy. All right, let's go. My head unit is a Garmin, so I started there, but with prices approaching or exceeding $100, I decided to look at other alternatives. I just started looking at the Google search yields, including offerings on Amazon. They all seem to have very good reviews and most offered Bluetooth or Ant Plus connectivity. I'm not even sure what Ant Plus connectivity is. But Within a certain price range and with similar features, I just basically did eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and the XOSS drew the short straw. I ordered from Amazon and included in the packet is the unit with a semi-stretchy Velcro friendly armband, a magnetic USB charger, and the quick start guide along with a QR code, which I think I've misplaced or tossed out. Fortunately, the website video via the QR code gives the basics for setup. Pairing was a simple process to my Garmin 530 unit. The connection is very reliable. Whenever I power up the heart rate monitor, my Garmin always picks it up. So as far as setup, pairing, and using is concerned, very simple, turnkey, no issues whatsoever. Let's talk about comfort. When I first got the armband heart rate monitor, I started wearing it on my biceps where even the slightest movement would cause my massive guns to flex, <laughs> causing it to squeeze a little bit too much because it's not made out of that soft, elasticy uh, fabric like what the strap is made out of. You can see that it moves, but it doesn't yield a whole lot. So I reverted to wearing it on my forearm where once it's set in place, by the Velcro straps, it just stays put. The inside is made out of this very soft fabric that kind of like looks like neoprene, but it's not, so it's not gonna induce additional perspiration. And then the outside part is made of a very soft Velcro friendly fabric. The neat thing about this is that once you have it on securely attached, it stays in place. It doesn't constantly remind you that it's on there doing its job collecting data, unlike, you know, the strap, oh, we're here, we're working, collecting data. It doesn't do that deal. It does its job in total and complete anonymity. So in the interest of science, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison using the armband heart rate monitor strap. It's fairly easy and straightforward to put on. There, that's on. And I'm gonna take one for the team and also put on the chest strap heart rate monitor. <sighs> All set. Okay, not super scientific, perhaps even a little mammy made, but it'll do. The armband monitor is reading on a Garmin to my left and the chest strap is reading on my tablet to the right. Take a minute to find the numbers and you can see that there's a little bit of a lag oftentimes with the armband monitor, that's to be expected because the sensors are actually very different. The sensor on the chest strap is acoustic while the sensor on the armband is optical and that's bound to give a little bit of a lag. Hey, that last bit that I said about 
one being acoustic and the other one being optical in terms of how they measure, I believe that's accurate. If you know better than I know, let me know in the comment section below. My conclusions, if you're the type of person that annoyed by the discomfort that the strap gives you that restrictive feeling, the armband heart rate monitor strap is an excellent alternative. And like I tried to illustrate, there are a lot of very affordable options on the market ranging anywhere between $29 and about $60 and do your due diligence, read the reviews, see what people in the community have to say before you jump in and buy one. I've gotten great results from the XOSS. Would I recommend it? Absolutely, it's done me well. But as always, weigh in in the comment section below. Let us know what your experience has been with either the armband heart rate monitor or the chest strap heart rate monitor. Upcoming on the channel, I've got another wheel set review. This one is gonna be of the Magine XR DB508. Great wheel set. Yes, it's disc brake. Yes, I managed to test it. Yes, I had a good time on it. And I also managed to get my hands on the Colnago C68 gravel or all road. I'm not sure what they're calling it, but I was able to do the trifecta of tests. I did a little bit of um, off road type of stuff single track then i did some gravel and then i did some road and i'm going to share my impressions of that bike in all three of those disciplines nothing gnarly but definitely a lot of fun and i think that's all that i wanted to say today yeah so thank you for continuing to support the channel by watching these videos by liking by sharing and by subscribing to the channel hey if you want to watch a video on how to manage your cadence properly which correlates almost perfectly with heart rate make sure you check that video out right after you check this one out as always though our aim here at the channel is to inform instruct inspire be blessed